Now here we need to prove that sum of the eccentric angles of the feet of normals of an ellipse through a point is an odd multiple of pi that is theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 plus theta 4 is 2n plus 1 into pi. So what we'll say is, we'll say let the equation of normal be ax secant theta minus by cosec theta and it is equal to a square minus b square. Now we know that we can write secant theta as 1 plus 10 square theta by 2 upon 1 minus 10 square theta by 2 and what we'll also do is we'll let this 10 theta by 2 as some t so we'll write it as 1 plus t square upon 1 minus t square and the same way we can write cosec theta as 1 plus 10 square theta by 2 upon 2 10 theta by 2 so it'll be 1 plus t square upon 2t so we'll substitute this equation in terms of parameter t we can write this as ax and then what is secant theta secant theta is 1 plus t square upon 1 minus t square minus by and it will be 1 plus t square upon 2t and this is equal to a square minus b square now this normal it passes through the point say h comma k so we'll put x as h and y as k then we can write a h into 2 t 1 plus t square minus b k 1 minus t to the power 4 and it will be equal to a square minus b square and then 2 t 1 minus t square. So we can write this as 2 a h t plus 2 a h t cube minus b k plus b k t to the power 4 and it will be 2 a square minus b square t and then minus 2 a square minus b square into t cube. Now this is nothing but a biquadratic equation in t. So we can write this equation as bk t to the power 4 and then plus 2 times a square minus b square plus ah into t cube and then plus 2 times ah minus a square plus b square into t and minus b into k equals 0. Now this equation has four real roots. So from a point, four normals can be drawn to this ellipse. So let the roots be t1, t2, t3 and t4. Then we can write s1 which is t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 as minus 2 a square minus b square plus a h upon b k we can write s2 now s2 in this case is simply 0 then we'll write s3 s3 is again minus 2 a h minus a square minus b square upon b k and then s4 and s4 is simply minus 1. So now we have s1, s2, s3 and s4. Now while solving the question we have taken this 10 theta by 2 as t. So that means these four roots t1, t2, t3 and t4 they are actually eccentric angles. So we will take t1 as 10 theta 1 by 2, t2 is 10 theta 2 by 2, t3 is 10 theta 3 by 2 and then t4 is 10 theta 4 by 2. So we will use the formula 10 theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 plus theta 4 divided by 2. So we know that this is equal to s1 minus s3 upon 1 minus s2 plus s4. So we have this value of s1 and then we have this value of s3 and then it will be 1 and then s2 is 0 and s4 is minus 1. So in this case denominator is 0 and when the denominator is 0 that means theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 plus theta 4 upon 2 they must be 
odd multiple of pi by 2. So from here we can say theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 plus theta 4 must be an odd multiple of pi. So for conormal points on an ellipse, sum of eccentric angles must be equal to odd multiple of pi.